what happens behind the scenes. Now, I've worked out the gasket is not what I call 100%, so we'll be putting glue on the gasket um, and gluing one side down. I'm going to pour this and get rid of the gasket anyway, but um, I thought I'd show you guys. There's the bolts, that and there. That's the four bolts. I know what you call very long bolts either, they look very um, strong on them. Um, wouldn't mind replacing them with some high tensile. They could be longer. It's something to do with the um, way the um, cylinders go down. But um, yeah, it's pain in the butt. So I'll put some glue over this. Um, it's just for me, really, reference myself, really. But um, so when you see me start this up, you know it's been glue. All right, guys. Try and show this so uh, I got some glue on that. This is just so I can start up, muck around, and run it. So what she sounds like. Down um, bolts the cylinder, put the back ones in. They're hard to get to otherwise. This side you can get to. Um it better falls down me on the flywheel, you're in trouble. The worst one is on the PTO side, the back. You can't really get to it. Take put that one there. The front two you can, but I'll put them on anyway. I think I'll be able to do it. Put them down, gravity will pull them down. It's for tomorrow. It's afternoon, maybe, I don't know. Get them all there. Put out the piston, put your piston up, the hole and stoppers and stuff. Ring compressor. Push that down over, make sure the rings are inside the cylinder. Right, pull that part there out. See the piston get top of the center again, so you have room. Right, now, I'll pause you because this is going to take time. And I'll hang my tongue the right way. Don't joke at this, but I don't think I can do it in camera. Right, guys, I'll just pause you. Now, there is a set of pliers you can buy for this particular job. Um, they're like duck, but a duck bill. Um, then don't um, bite hard. There's no sharp points. But if you do do this, be gentle, and use your thumb more than your fingers more than anything. Push it. I'm using it just to guide it. I guide it back into where it should be. It's a bit of a habit still. It's not an easy thing. So you gently pull it to where it has to be. Get it back in the hole. I don't think I can, it's not an easy thing to do. I'm being very careful how I push this, I don't want to bust a hole through it. It's all brand new, so it's pretty well soft, but it's old, you won't move it, it'll split. But just gently move your way in there, get back to where it should be. Dad. Hang on, someone will see. Right, I've got that um, piece back in there where it should be. I'm going to start these screws up, make sure the screws are on the holes. Which is not good with um, seal, you find out where the holes are. It, the other um, stores are skirts, and the skirts line the cylinder up in the hole. So, you make sure you find each um, screw hole first. And wind over. This is what I do, it doesn't mean to mind. At least another way to do it, quite possibly the better way. And possibly there's a still way that as she says you have to the find all the holes. Make sure they start screwing in. This one needs a hard button see. Right now they're all going in. This one about halfway. Now I want this one down to say so snipping up. I still can't remember the word people get so it's nipped up. I'll do the opposite. Just nip a little bit. Now because it hasn't got a skirt, what I do is I rotate the cylinder over and make sure nothing is hitting. So it's nice smooth um, um, going from in and out the cylinder because the piston does leave the cylinder a little bit at the end of the stroke for us to know in this particular model. Right, so now we'll do the other ones. Just go around them nice and gently. So don't lock them up until you're 100% happy where the cylinder is. I'm not using power tools, I'm using hand tools. My tool wouldn't even reach this, I don't think. My reach is 660. Now, turn it 
turns, no tire spots, no crap in it, hopefully. So I'll nip it up. So I'm squeezing out the glue. And it's not much glue, just a bit of high temperature, but I'm silicon from um, JB Wells Grey, 100% silicon um, gasket, and it's um, a stable around fuel. So, super one. Make sure they're all right. That's why I like about doing base gasket delete. Once you tighten it up, it stays tight. Gaskets compress. Over time, those bolts can get loose. So I recommend after you run a saw, it's got a gasket. Get back in there a couple of days later and tighten it back up again. Tighten it up when it's hot. Things expand, and when they expand, it's better to tighten it up then. When it cools down, it'll tighten all the bolts and all the crap up. So I'll go around now, make sure they're all tight. All the same tight, all the same grunt. So that one moves a bit from the last time. And that's it. But now I put all the bolts and crap back in, I'll start her up. All right, guys, get it done. Last well, couple of bolts, so the flag, that's back together. So there's another, another, another number here. So I do number, so I'll do it. I'm still at four. Uh, I use um, uh, JB World. Um, Ultra grey, 100% silicon, high heat, um, it's fuel grade to so just for this particular bit. Oh, I don't use that for um, base gasket re um, removal. I use another glue, the most fuel. So I put that back on. I pulled it off, I haven't pulled one of these off before. I pulled it off um, just for easy access. Maybe easier. Next time I don't think I will pull it off. So when you get the um, fuel tank off, it's not in these, but it's uh, this is enough to try and my hole, one of the holes back up. So, I normally use this part here off the impact driver, just in my fingers. But it was uh, magnetized, not much now, but see, it's those bolts I'm um, started like that. I don't use this to go blurt, oh yeah, strip it. So the day's gonna wear me, it's still sunlight, not daylight savings in Australia. Just run in the hole. Now I fill up with the petrol and oil and see if she starts. It's um, been back together for over an hour. I'm talking to the kids. And no, because they're trying to access me with my phone, but I'm filming and when I'm filming, I put the phone on do not disturb. And they don't understand that why. Well, I need some privacy to myself. I hate to tell you myself, and I don't like being annoyed in this shit while I'm filming. So, if you're listening, leave me alone. I need to have time to myself, of course, you know? Fly extinct. And tomorrow, I flew off the grandkids here, where I thought tomorrow I was going down there to her place. But my other daughter, she's working as a cleaner. She's got a job somewhere in Newcastle. So, she needs a car. I was going to use her car, but now I'm not, so. And I had an uncomfortable night's sleep because the grandkids don't like sleeping. One's a young one, that one cries. So yeah, it's going to be fun. I want them to tighten up. Top one's tight. I was tightening it. I was a bit worried about that. So it fits my hand. Okay. Uh, back guard. So hopefully I put everything back on the way it should be. I hope the carb is on the way it should be. There's no problem with the tune, so that's back on the way it should be. Okay. You want them wise. Um, I noticed that when I got this out of the box, it's a bit twisted looking. It was, there's a hole in the box, so I think this will straighten up over time. That rubber, um, that screw there has a rubber grommet behind it, so holding it up, but it's all where it should be, but it's just a bit twisted. But it was a hole in the saw box here. Uh, you can fuel on this. Always have a look down your fuel tank when you're new. See if anyone left their finger behind or tools or whatever else. Same the oil side. Got the screwdriver slots. Make it easier to open. They even got, um, on this, I put one off, it's easier. They even got the old fashioned setup, so. The new ones have got a string that goes down the hole. You get a click in the, um, the plastic. And my one, my oil one on my knee tick is playing up. So I prefer that plastic overall. So I get some fuel and oil, fill it up. 
I love me the uh, me, uh, house runner fuel tank thing, but it doesn't turn off no more. Here, probably hits a spring load. It's, I don't know how to fix it. It's stiff. But pain now. No, almost empty fuel through. And they take 070. Soak up the new one with fuel. It's got a big tank and only half full. So, over here, filling up. That's about, no. Uh, just under over four spots, half, over half would be what it is. I don't fill up too much up when you've got a tiny bit left now. Amazing how much food you go for when you're, even though you're not um, a professional soil user. So I'll fold it all up about halfway. I just want to make sure the oils, anything I find with change chainsaws, oils. I seem to be always having a problem with oils. Single, single working oils, oil pumps. As I said before, my um, G288, making oil in there. I hope this isn't leaking oil. That's about three quarters full. I'll take her outside and give her a start. And I hopefully, hopefully um, in a few minutes, I'll be too much. Yeah, 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 so I pulled the, um, the sticker off, and it said the last time the 070, the sticker's been marked, someone actually said, yes, I've been here, I've looked at that quality control, which I'm looking for now. Um, the 071, that's the 071. Previous ones, they weren't, I'll show you. That's the previous one, nothing on that one. Oh, I've got nothing on that one. I went on there, I don't know, I guess it's just this. Under my uh, Adam, Australian made it was. And Australian uh, store made. Nothing on that one either, so it's good to see they got the volume of someone checking this stuff. So we'll go outside and have a start, see where she goes. Okay, we'll try and start this thing up. Um, I want to make it a full heat cycle, so leave it again, probably two minutes. Hopefully everything works right. We'll have to suck the fuel up first. Got plenty of compression. And no decom valve, so it's gonna be hard. Get his torch off. I think that far there, so half choke off.
like the hood. Now, while I was pointing at the oil fall, I should have turned this way. A lot of time I've asked them how they do it. Um, they pump through a, um, a vegetable oil through the saw and it comes through a different colour. So, it's no fire risk um, getting, getting these oils going overseas and um, planes and stuff. So, a vegetable oil or olive oil, just some crap oil. Hang on, we're getting breath back. Crap oil. So, the um, bar oil I stuck in has to push all that stuff out. So, if you look back at the video, you'll see bits of dirt and shit coming out of the um, oil. And that's all that was there. But yeah, that goes all right, so I'm happy with that starts up. i tell you what, I've got some um, compression with her. I'll have trouble starting that. Yep. Now I'll have to do a few more heat cycles and we'll put in the wood and see she goes. Alright guys, over now, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Like and subscribe.